What's up, everybody? I know it's been a while since our last video. Uh, work and weather has been pretty crazy. Uh, I'll show you what we've been up to. It's taken us like a week to do this one wine cellar out in Long Island, like 12 hour, 14 hour days. Edit that in right now. on the tire changer we're modifying it to hopefully mount the tires like uh, wheels and tires i got for the escalade without scratching them we are going to modify the harbor freight tire changer using welder some clamps grinder and some of this material we got one by two uh eighth inch wall Rectangle tube, inch and a quarter round tube, a two inch exhaust pipe, which I hope is going to be strong enough. We got two inch shaft collars, which fit over that part of the tire changer. You'll see, I'll explain more. Uh, we got two U bolts for the inch and a quarter pipe, and this guy, which they call either a duck bill or a duck head part of a tire changing machine, but we're gonna make it work for our manual tire changer so that we can change these tires without scratching everything up. So let's, uh, let's get started. All right, that's pretty much all there is to it. You got your bead breaker, that's whatever. Our issue is up here. You're supposed to just use this bar and run it along the edge of the rim to get the tire to go over the edge and that to pry it over the edge and whatnot but it's fine for steel wheels if you don't really care if you scratch them but not so good for alloys so right now we're going to worry about this our exhaust pipe is going to slide over this and these shaft collars which you know it's a little tight on top because the booger welds but if it's will be a top and bottom stop and we're going to use uh, neoprene tape to take up some of the slack and be kind of like a bearing almost. We gotta make this a little bit smaller. That is barely any movement. I think we'll be fine. We'll clean it up with file. Rectangle tube to the size, which I'm ordering 22s for the Escalade. I don't see me doing any wheels bigger than that. I 22 inch wheel, 11 inch radius. I think we'll cut this bar at like 14. Probably cut a radius into this a little. Good enough for what we're doing. Might as well just keep chopping the things up while we're at it. Well, 14 looks like a good number for that too, actually. Gotta make a plate for this duck. Weld it to that as straight as possible. Put a piece in there to take the load instead of the bolt holes only. I do have this big chunk of steel. I don't even know where this came from. I'll drill a hole in the center and then I'll assemble this and just do a little plug weld in the back end to get it so I'd say alignment is exactly where it needs to be. 
and then I'll pull it off and weld the, weld the rest so I don't melt anything. Stick a weld in there, get it aligned nice. Nothing special, just enough to hold it there. That's not gonna go anywhere now. So satisfying. So I'm just trying to sand the inside, the surface rust on the inside, so that the adhesive on the needle frame will stay where I put it. But I can't really reach all the way in, so I get what we can. battery dad on the camera my bad all I did was cut this plate and drill the holes same way that the uh, plate is on the u-bolts should work out pretty good I won't know until I have my wheels on Monday but for now we have maybe a functioning tire machine Okay, now that the paint is dried overnight, hopefully the enamel's hard enough so it won't just peel off. There you go, simple as that. Well, this will be cranked down. That'll spin around the wheel. The wheels came in for the Escalade too. So now that this is assembled and the wheels are here, we can show you how it works next time. <laughs>